let us see march 9 2022 indian express news articles first article is related to as the inflation pressure builds rbi rises excuse me rbi rises the key rate by 50 basis point signals more hike rpa on wednesday rises its main policy rate that is repo rate the rate at which it lends money to the commercial bank for a second time in over a month by expected 50 basis three quit three quarters of uh, throughout the um, it has projected inflation to remain above its upper tolerance band of six percentage through through the first three quarters of financial year 2023 the rate hike will force the banks and non-banking financial companies to increase the lending rates and results in uh, higher equated monthly. The 50 basis point hike shows a calibrated withdrawal of accommodative stances. Uh, the central bank has ensured that the banks are not constrained to lend. Next article that we are moving into is related to China infra buildup near uh, India border is alarming. U.S. General calling by Be Beijing's behavior in, in insidious and destabilizing China's infrastructure development along its Western Theater Command. Next article is related to coach sacked cyclist harassment allegation prima facie true day after a top indian cyclist accused national team chief coach rk sharma of her sexual harassment uh, sai means say sports authority of india ashoka emblem of new parliament uh, the line capital of ashoka india's state emblem was placed atop and adopt the under construction uh, next one is IASC is a top Indian universities in global ranking overtakes IITs rising 31 places in a year IASC uh, Bangalore has emerged as highest ranked universe Indian Institute in 2023 edition of QS world university ranking pushing IIT Bombay to second position followed by IIT Delhi Next article is related to Election Commission wants employers to track the government private staffs who take leave don't vote. In a bid to areas uh, voter apathy in urban areas, apathy in urban areas, Election Commission is set to write to all union and state government departments, central state PSUs and private companies with over 500 employees to monitor how many employees avail special casual leave on polling day but don't vote. Election Commission through its local district election officer will ask the government departments, PSUs and private companies to appoint the nodal officers who will keep the tab on employee who skip voting. We would then urge the employer to spend employees who skipped voting for special voter awareness workshop organized by Election Commission. The aim is to tackle voter apathy, especially in urban areas. It's unfortunate if people are availing leave but not casting their vote. No one would like to get named for not voting. According to Section 135B of the Representation of People Act 1951, every registered voter employed in any business, trade or industrial undertakings or, on, or any or any other establishment and entitled to vote in the parliament or assembly election has to be granted a paid holiday for purpose. The state and central government always notify polling day as, as a paid holiday within the meaning of section 25 of Negotial Instruments Act 1881. Credit card UPA, the move will give a push to credit card for small items in urban and rural areas like the neighboring hood Kirana, uh, Kirana store where credit cards hitherto are not used will find it uh, economical and accept the credit card uh, payment through UPI. Include inclusive growth and RBA permitted rural, rural cooperative banks to 
uh, finance the residential real estate projects and double the limit on housing loans that cooperative banks can offer. The limits for Tier 1 and Tier 2 urban cooperative banks have been revised from Rupees 30 lakh to 60 lakh and from 70 lakh to 1.40 crore respectively. This These limits were uh, last revised for urban cooperative banks in 2011 and for rural cooperative banks in 2009. The aggregate housing finance limit of 5% of their total asset the de this decision has been taken in view of growing needs for affordable housing and to realize their potential in providing credit facility to the housing sector. Next article is related to QS ranking. The parameters like academic reputation, employer reputation, faculty student ratio, citation per faculty, international faculty ratio and international student ratio. Globally, the Muscat Massachusetts of Institute of Technology has de was declared the best university for 11th straight year. Second place went to University of Cambridge followed by Stanford University. China has 28 universities among the top 500 including 6 in the top 100 with Peking University getting ranked well and Tsinghu University placed 14th. Next article that we are moving into is related to um, coal use will be banned in NC National Capital Region from Jan 2023. Use of coal as a fuel will be banned across National Capital Region with effect from January 1, 2023 according to the Commission of Air Quality Management for the regions where infrastructure and for supply of piped natural gas is already available. The ban on use of coal will be come into force from October 1, 2022, Commission for Air Quality Management said in a statement. Jafar Mahal, last palace built by Mughals, lie in the wait for wait of repair and restoration. Let us see this article in detail. The, la the last palace built by Mughals, the huge red sandstone gate impresses from a distance, but on closer look, mounds of garbage were strewn around the parking lot. Within the palace, walls and pillars crumble seem to be at a point of collapse. The graves of three Mughal emperors are somewhere within decaying Mahal. Um, before we are we have we was exiled to Rangoon by British. He was exiled to Rangoon by British. Bagadusa Jafar wished to be buried here besides his forefather. Uh, his grave lies empty. Mughal court used to move uh, move there in summers and observe the Pool Walan Ki share that is procession of florist. Okay. Next article that is moving into is related to Iran Foreign Minister Jay Shankar talks bilateral ties to Afghanistan. Uh, amid over a dozen of uh, Islamic nations condemning the comments against the Prophet by two former BJP spokesperson. Um, two ministers discussed the entire gamut of bilateral relations, including political, cultural, and people to people ties. Jay Shankar appreciated the role of uh, Iran in facilitating India's medical assistance to Afghanistan, including supply of COVID-19 uh, vaccines to Afghan nationals residing in Iran. The progress made at the Sahid Behistri Terminal, Chabahar Port, both sides agreed um, that Chabahar Port was provided much needed sea access to landlocked Afghanistan and has also emerged as a commercial transit hub for the region, including Central Asia. Next article that we are moving into is... Uh, Related to India Vietnam signs a joint statement on defense partnership. Wednesday, um, India and Vietnam signed a joint vision statement on defense partnership towards um, 2030, which will significantly enhance the scope and scale of existing defense op cooperation. And the two ministers agreed for early finalization of dollar uh, 500 million um, defense line of credit extended to Vietnam. The two countries included a memorandum of understanding on mutual logistical support. In these times of increasing cooperative engagements between the uh, defense forces of two countries, this is a major step towards simplifying the procedures for mutually beneficial logistic support and is the first of such major agreement which uh, Vietnam has, has signed. 
Next article that we are moving into is related to go, government spikes a paddy MSP by rupees 100 a quintal, sharpest rise in soya bean. The government Wednesday announced MSP for all mandated tariff crops for marketing marketing season 2020-2023 um, with soya bean seeing the maximum high of 8 to 8.86% and bajra lowest with 4.4%. Next article let us see in the next video. Thank you. If you like the video, please do share, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.